How's it going, guys? And welcome to another episode of our MLB The Show 24 Road to the Show series with our right fielder, Everett Scott. And if you're wondering, we... What? <laughs> If you are wondering why we are on the main menu, it is because at the end of the last episode, I said we would start off this episode by opening up all the packs I have. I do not know how many I have, um, so we could only have like one pack for all I know, but I, th I think we have a little bit more. But why don't we just check it out? Um, where am I going here? Okay. Okay, so I do have a decent amount of packs here that I've been saving up. So... We're going to start off this episode here just by opening up some packs. I know there are some people who like watching pack openings for this game. Um, most of this stuff I'll get, I'll probably sell. Um, so yeah, we'll just see what we get. So we'll start off this regular, regular pack here. That was loud in my headphones. All right, so we got a gold and a bronze. So who's the bronze? Oh, I didn't mean to flip all that. We got a diamond, or diamond. We got a gold bat. And people I do not know. I feel like Reese McGuire sounds familiar, though. Anyway, let's go on to the Ballin' is a Habit pack. We just got one of these. We got a gold there. Bronze. Lance Lynn. We faced him in a uh, previous episode of this series. Anthony Desclafani. He's dropped off a lot. And the gold player... Cody Bellinger. I might just keep him because he's a cubby. That's a good card right there, though. All right, scouting report pack. I don't think these are anything too... Oh, there's a diamond. Jason Hayward, former cubby. Um, but yeah, apparently you get diamond stuff here. Oh, just a just a bat. Probably just like a 6-6 six, six bat. 6 contact, 6 power. Nothing fancy there, but... Another diamond bat. Diamond perk. We get three options here. Jumpstart. I own two of them. Two and two. So apparently I already own two of these. All the of all three. Um Well then I guess it doesn't Oh. I don't have to choose. Well if I already own two of them, I'm just going to quick sell all of them. There we go, just like that. All right, so now we have two choice packs, silver choice packs. Um, I guess we'll do the game face paint. Okay, now we have one more silver choice pack. Uh, we already have that. That's the best uh, leg guard I believe you can get in the game for catchers. Because it's weird, there's like no gold or diamond level equipment for catchers besides the mask. That's the only catcher equipment that you can get in diamond level. So it's either the G-form compression sleeve or the glove. We'll get the compression sleeve. Now we got a diamond equipment choice pack. Victory pie. Lizard skin gloves. What is this? Taco bat. And then we got popcorn bat. What are these gloves like? 4664? That might not actually be bad either, but I got the legendary call one. That one's like the best. We'll get these gloves and then we can see if they're better than the ones we have. So diamond batting perks. We already have that one and already have that one. So it's between contact four, power four. I don't like either of these because they give you a debuff, um, but we'll do power four. I will not use it. Now we got a Ball player equipment, choose three items pack. This is the final one. Uh, ooh, I like that. I like that bat. I just like the font on it. Reminds me of GTA San Andreas, but it's for the White Sox. So I don't know if I can pick that just on that alone. I will never pick the White Sox over the Cubbies. Never, ever. Unless, of course, I had like a gun to my head or something. Then, of course, I would pick them because... Not that big of a, not that diehard of a baseball fan, but we'll go with this Louisville Slugger. And then we get a perk. We get power one. Um, You know what? We'll get this fielding one. Oh, we get two in this one. Well, then we'll get those. Nice. All right. Do we have any freebies? No, we do not. 
All right, well, let's back out and go right into Road to the Show, because if you missed the previous episode, the Los Angeles Dodgers beat the St. Louis Cardinals in the NLD, NLCS excuse me, in five games to move on to the World Series, where we are taking on the New York Yankees. Here you can see the playoff tree. Yankees beat the Orioles in six games. We beat the Cardinals in five we swept the Diamondbacks before that, and then obviously we didn't have to go to the wild card round because we were the best team in MLB this season. So it'll be fun to play in Yankee Stadium. The only thing is that they have uh, the Death Star siren that goes off after every freaking two-strike count from what I hear. So that could be interesting. But anyway, we're not going to dilly-dally. I kind of hope that we lose enough games so that we can win the world series at home just because i always it's so much cooler when the home crowd team wins the major championship it's it's so good but if we can win it we'll win it but without further ado ladies and gentlemen we are going to wait oh yeah that's right i was going to check the uh um i was going to check the gloves all right so contacts the same powers the same clutch is better vision is three worse honestly i'll take these i can sacrifice the vision a little bit with my batting gloves because i have uh i have these that boost my vision plus six so, and then obviously not changing any of that other stuff. Let's see if we can change up our batting gloves a little bit. Um, I feel like that red looks nice there. I think white should be there. I don't know about that. It's got to be blue. Should that be red? What does that look like? You know what? We'll do that. We'll do that. Red on the palms there. Blue there and the... Like the stitching, I guess you'd call that, is white. We'll do that. Yeah, I think that looks good. You guys probably don't care about that, though. You just want me to get to the game. And without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's go to Game 1 of the World Series. Alright, so of course, starting off the World Series, we got Showtime on the mound. Can't start off the World Series without him. He's beasting and feasting for us. Won the Cy Young. We're starting out in the outfield here. Alex Verdugo up to bat for the Yanks. They got nobody on with one out. I'm going to move to the left a little bit here. Here comes a pinch. That's going to get down. Good thing we moved to the left, though, a little bit. Might have been worse. Throw that to the shortstop, covering second. All right. And now here we go. We got two on, two out. First World Series at bat. And we will take the walk. Count was full. He pitched way above the zone there. Garrett Cole, he's struggling a little bit here. Now, now Max Muncy has the count in his favor. Very interesting. And Garrett Cole will walk in the first run of the World Series. I can't believe it. So James Outman, he was struggling in the previous series in the NLCS. He was 0 for 10 at one point, I believe. And he strikes out there. But we get that run in as Mookie Betts got walked in to score. So it could have been a lot more damaging for Garrett Cole. But walking in the first run of the World Series, I don't know if that's good. I don't know if I'd be celebrating like that. I know it's early, but still. 
So we're back out in the outfield now. Top of the third. Taking on the top there order here with Glaber Torres. Uh-oh. They're looking to tie it up. And I say no. Sorry, Torres. You're 0 for 2, buddy. We're keeping this lead. Not happening. That's what I said. That's what I said when I jumped up and caught it. And Shohei's pumped. He's loving it. Up to bat now. Took a walk in the first. We're leading off here. And we will take our second walk of the game. Back-to-back -back walks for us to start off the World Series. It's not home runs or... Or doubles or triples or anything like that, but we will take it nonetheless. Going for a steal. That's dropping. Little blooper into shallow right. And runners on the corners now, thanks to that funky Muncie. Oh, boot scooting boogie. All right, come on, Outman. Gotta get a hit here, buddy. You're struggling, my guy. You're batting a 162. You got a home run, though. That'll be a double play, but we add a run to the totals. We'll take it. Got something out of it, I guess. But we're back up to bat here. Two walks in this one. Runner in scoring position with one out. And that's a wild pitch. Throws it right past me, and Mookie is advanced to third. So this would be the perfect time to get my first hit in this game. Yeah, just almost hit me with it. If I wouldn't have jumped out of the way, that would have hit me probably. And another walk. Three walks in this game. And all three walks come off a full count. So now we got Max Muncy back up. One for one, going for a steal again here. And I'm in there. He got struck out. So I don't think that play went all according to plan. Especially now with James Outman up to bat. 0 for 2 in this one. Brought in a new pitcher though. And he watches that for strike three. Unfortunate. And we hold on for a game one victory. Pretty anticlimactic victory there for us. We didn't get a single hit in that one, but we got three walks on the day. Had a wonderful eye there at the plate. That's probably the most patient I've been ever since I started playing this game back in uh, 2014. Yeah, we shut him out. 2 nothing. Shohei gets the win. Pitched a complete game. Only gave up five hits. Pitched an absolute gem. We may not have gotten any big hits in that one, but we got three walks. We produced in some way. So... You love to see it, but let's move on to game two, everyone. All right, so game two here. And on the mound now, Tyler Glass now. Glass now. I can never remember how to pronounce his name. He's pitching well here. 5.02 ERA. I think that's went down since last time. Starting out in right field again in this one. That's how we started out game one, and that one went well for us. Maybe we'll have the same luck here in game two. Anthony Volpe up to bat now. One down, base is empty. That's a little blooper right by the line. Throw that to the shortstop. Easy little play there. So now we're coming up to bat here. Three walks in game one. Went zero for zero with three walks. 
That's a solid hit down the line. That'll be good for a single, but we're finally getting a hit here in the World Series. Took four at-bats. We finally get on base. Not by a walk. Third baseman just missed that, though. That easily could have been a grounder. But now we got, what do they call him, Kiki? Is that what the announcer says all the time? Kiki Hernandez? Or is that his nickname? But anyway, we have him up to bat. Going for steal. Bad steal. Jump apparently. Struck out. But we get to second. So no chance at a double play. Now we got that funky Muncy. He's been, he's been hot as of late. Maybe he can get me around to score. I was holding back. I'm not going to steal third. Oh, that's going to be a pop-up, depending on how far back it is. No. Yeah, I would have been gunned. Didn't have the feeling. Sometimes you get a feeling that you can make it. That one I didn't. Next up, the Dodgers catcher, Diego Cartaya. All right. See what Cartaya can do. Batting 100. And he strikes out. And that is that. Or 100 batting, or what is that, 0.1 batting average, I guess? It wouldn't be 100. That would mean he's like perfect at every at bat, I think. Anyway. He struck it. That's all that matters. Go ahead, so back out base. in right field here. Well. Yankees with Stepping a chance to get some Yankees. damage. Or to do some damage. They got a runner on first and second with no outs. I feel like I need to go up and to the right a little bit. Hopefully I don't regret it. I don't think I will. And he will stay put at second. Nice play there. Alright, so we come out of that situation without giving up any runs. Now we are up to bat here in the bottom of the fourth. And I watch that one up and in. And I get struck out. That one... It didn't look good to me. It looked like it was just too far inside, but... He managed to paint the corner well on that one. So, the so we're back over. out in right They're field, top of the fifth. It's a pitcher's battle in this one. Glaber Torres, he's two for five with a double so far. See if we can get him out here in the inning. That's going to drop. This looks like extra bases. Around first, heading for two. That was literally basically all circles. They might as well have just had me press circle the entire time. So they got one in scoring position. And they don't capitalize. So bottom of the seventh, nobody on, two outs. That's a solid hit, but it will not have the distance. And Aaron Judge. Warning track. warning track power. Unfortunate. Still a pitcher's duel going on here. So top of the ninth. Yankees have two on with no outs. We gotta make a play here. Oh, gotta rob it. Got it. He's gonna get to third. Only 90 feet away. Only 90 feet away. But that could have been a whole hell of a lot worse. Let's watch this again. My heart was racing there. My heart was racing. I thought, I thought I've been doing hot on these lately. This would be the time that I'd miss. But the Yankees 
We'll take game two. What was the final score here? One nothing. So I assume that runner from third did come home to score. It was just a pitcher's duel in this one. So I'm not upset about this loss at all. It was it was just that was one of those games where the where the first team that scores is winning. That is the definition of that, this game. So, we're going to New York, looking to take the lead back in this series. Let's hope we can do it in Game 3. So, Game 3 here in New York at Yankee Stadium. Former Cubby Marcus Stroman taking the mound for the Yanks in this one. Hopefully this game we can actually do something as a team. That'd be a good first performance to dominate the Yankees. And look at that. 3 nothing lead already for us. you love to see it. And I strike out. I was just not on target with that at bat there. That was just terrible at bat. We're back up to bat again. Top of the third. Marcus Stroman has simmered down a little bit. Found his game. And I strike out again. Struggle bus here in game three so far. Back up to bat again, still 3-0 lead for us. This time we got a runner on first. Marcus Stroman definitely has found his game after that first inning. There we go. It's all we needed. One swing of the at-bat. Two-run bomb, 12th homer of the, uh, the postseason, excuse me. Oh. I can relax. I didn't want to keep struggling. I needed to get something there. Get me out of my little slump I've been in. After game one, I just... I got one hit in game two. But I didn't really have a great performance by any means. So... Coming into this one, striking out back to back. Then getting that home run. I definitely think that's what I needed. But we're out in right field now, holding on to our 5 nothing lead. Bottom of the fifth. I might be able to make that catch. No, I can't. And of course, it's still fair. All right, back with the bat. One on, no outs. Top of the seventh. See if we can do something good again. Solid rip over to Rizzo, but I will beat that out. Unfortunately, Shohei got out. My bad, bud. Now we got the funky Muncie. Oh, I didn't get any time to do anything there. Oh, go back, go back, go back. Why did he start... I did not have him run. He started running on his own. By the time I realized it was going to get caught, it was too late. Oh, well. So bottom of the seventh now. Kershaw still in the game. You'll love to see it. Trent Grisham, he's 0 for 2, looking to get something going in his game here. In the air, right side. And I should catch Scott it, and I do. And we take game three. When you have a tie, we get a dominant victory in the first game on the Yankees' Anytime turf. Down, Wonder if it was a shutout. In the series, it was. Like that's three the games in a row. Here's another look at the numbers Every game, only one team has scored so far. We won. We won game one. What was it? Like two nothing? Game one or game two, we lost one nothing to the Yankees. Now game three, we won five nothing. There's been a shutout in every game so far in the World Series, and we got a home run finally. So let's move on to game four.
So game four here in New York. Carlos Rodon. Rodon, excuse me. Solid stats, one and one. 2.08 ERA. And they're starting out in right field here. Alex Verdugo. See what he can do here for the Yankees. Hopefully nothing but hit it right to me. And that one is lifted in the air. Makes a and nice running. I I hate that. My and guy is supposed away. to have like super fast speed, but he always like barely catches those. Or at least that's what the Back animation looks Stadium. like. The now, but Everett leading off the top of the second here. Let's see if we can have a good nugget. performance in this one. Here comes. Right to Rizzo at first. Not much you can do on those plays. Just absolute piss missile. Rizzo didn't even have to like hardly move either. He just took, he took like one hop and cashed in, cashed in, uh, cashed in the out. I don't know what I'm trying to say there, but Anthony Volpe. Nobody on, two outs. He's looking to get something going for his team here. That one's going to land fair. Throw that into the shortstop. He stays at first, though. All right, so leading off the top of the fourth, we have a one nothing lead here. Let's see if we can add to it. That's a little crappy hit. Not even a hit. So we're 0 for 2 in this one. Alright, 2-1 now. Top of the 6th. 1 out. We gotta get something going here. And I draw a walk. Not a hit, but getting on base. That's all that matters in the postseason. Just gotta get on base. Hernandez, one for two. Going for a steal. He crushes that. And runners on the corners with only one out. Please don't tell me it's James Outman coming up next because he's terrible. He's slumping. Okay, good. It's Max Muncy. He's 3 for 10 with a ribby. He's kind of slowed down a little bit, cooled off. Come on. We'll draw the walk. So the double play is still in effect here, unfortunately. But we got the nine hole hitter. Cartaya hit by pitch in the fourth. 0.071 average. You don't like that very much. Maybe he'll come up clutch for us, though. They got a new pitcher in. Come on, Diego. Go, Diego. Go. Little blooper. That gets through. Gonna slide just to be an ass. Oh, one more's coming. And we get two across. You freaking go, Diego. Go. What a beast. I love him. Wasn't the best hit, but hey, they were shifted over. And we capitalized on it. So Juan Soto up to bat now. Back out in right field. They got a runner in scoring position with only one out. Feel like I need to go to the right a little bit. Oh, here we go. Is this the X one? Ah, they changed that. They changed the timing on it. You used to be able to have a two hit. Like, you used to be able to wait for it to, like, bounce, the ring to bounce twice. But now you have to, like, do it instantly. I can make those jumping catches at the wall, like, easy peasy, but those diving ones like that, ever since they, like, fixed it, they must have tweaked it a little bit. Because when I first did it, it, was, it wasn't difficult, but... So we're 2 for 9, we're 0 for 2 with a walk and a run. Came around to score last time. Yeah, that's One and all, good start there. Nice solid hit into right field there. That'll be good for a base hit. 
Gratterall and I are bros. You'll love to see it. What's his first name? Like Usedal Gratterall or something like that? Steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Hernandez. Scott stands at first with one out. Full count. One for the steal. Little blooper. That'll be an out at first. Now we got Funky Muncie. He's drawn two walks in this one. Oh, they're walking him. Diego Cartaya. He came up clutch last time. Do it again, buddy. You got this, bud. I have faith in you. If you were James Outman, I won it. But you... I got faith. But unfortunately, that time it didn't work. But hey, James Altman would have struck out. And the Yankees come back to win it. We were up 4 nothing in the top of the eighth. And they come back to win it 5-4. They won it in walk-off fashion, did they not? No, they got... Oh, they did. They got three runs. Oh, no. It was 4-1. That's right. We were tied at one apiece at one point. Or, no. We were up 2-1 at one point. So, yeah, they got three runs. To be down... Wait, what? Oh, yeah. They were down by uh, three runs at one point. Came back to tie it in the eighth, and then in the bottom of the ninth, they freaking got a walk off. I don't know why that took me so long to figure out, but. All right. Well, this series, what is it, tied? Is it tied at two? I don't even remember now. I guess we'll find out. All right. So it is indeed tied up at two games apiece. They got Garrett Cole on the bump again. He started in game one. Or game two. So I think it was game two. This is the final game for the Yankees in their home stadium. They're hoping to go back to LA with a 3 2 series lead. We're hoping to go back home with a 3 2 series lead. We got Shohei on the bump as well. We got to win this one, boys. We should have won the last game. This should be an elimination game for the Yankees, but they managed to pull it off and come back fashion. Game five is underway. That one's going to drop in. All right. Game five underway here. Hopefully we can come out with the victory. Up to bat now. Top of the second. Nobody on. One out. Nice. Perfect. Perfect into right field. Oh, he bobbled it. He bobbled it. I don't know if that'll be a single and an error or if they'll count that as a double. Yep. A single and an error. I figured that's what it would be. So we're in scoring position early here. Come on, Funky Muncie. Ah. Little blooper over to Rizzi. The Rizzler over there at first. So two, don two, don two down. And here we go. The beast in center field, James Outman. Bet the Dodgers are wishing they let me be the center fielder. Sent him down. And there you go. A boss challenge. We're up 2 nothing. Runners on the corners here with two outs. We're going to go big or go home, baby. Drive in all runners. And that drills me in the bum. Garrett Cole hit me in the batak. And bases are juiced with Max Muncy coming up to bat. That funky Muncy. Come on, Muncy. Come on, buddy. Little blooper. Ah, can't beat it out. Damn. 
All right, up to bat. Yanks, three-run lead. And I strike out. Out in right field, bottom of the seventh. Fellow 99. Aaron Judge, big reason why they have a lead here. He's three for three with two homers, a single, four ribbies. Both his home runs have come in this game in the World Series. All right, we could rob him, or he could get his third. And we rob him. He is not getting the hat trick. Fellow 99, I love you, but not today. Top of the eighth, still trailing by three. At this point, just single or better. Single or better. That's a hit up the middle. Only going to be a single. Me and Kartaya, we're bros. Got that challenge. Come on, Muncie, bud. You're 0 for 3. You got to do something. You got to get something going here. We got to rally. We should have won the last game, and they came back and took it from us. We have to do the same to them. Come on. Let's see if he gives them anything to hit here. He gets walked. So we got two on, two outs. James Outman. Come on, bud. You got to do something productive at some point. Come on. Here's a 1 1. Little blooper. And it'll be caught. God dang. And the Yankees, they win their final game in front of their fans for the season. They just got to get one more win under their belt. I wanted to win in front of our home fans, so now we have to do it in a Game 7 scenario, but we got to win Game 6 first. We have to win Game 6 first. Get James Outman out of the lineup. Get him out. He sucks. <sighs> Let's go to Game 6. So Game 6 here. It's do or die time for us. We had a great season. We can have two more great games. We can have two more. Out in the right field, start things off. Verdugo coming up to bat. Nobody on, one out for him. We got James Outman. He's batting second in this one. Not, I was not excited to see his name in the lineup. He is ice cold, as expected. We'll just throw it to the first baseman. Give him something to do. Still out in right field. Juan Soto looking to make it an early two-run lead for the Yankees. And, of course, that one. Can't catch it. And they grab the lead. It's two nothing. You can't ask for a better start than hitting a home run in your first. Now here's the All right, trailing two nothing here in the early Scott. stages. We He's gotta tie it up it and do it quick. And I strike out. Top of the fifth. Over. Out and right. That's going to get down. Keeping him held up at first. Come on. Get us on the board. No. Leading off the bottom of the fifth. Come on. There we go. Solid hit up the middle. Good way to start off the inning. That's what we need to do. Me and Taylor, we're bros. Hopefully that builds us up a little bit better. Get us going. Hernandez, you're 0 for 1, just like I was. That's okay. 
that's a good approach. Babe. I got a hit and you can too, but to come on, let's rally. We got to rally. It's do or die time. Rudder takes off. That one is absolutely belted. And it's gone. Tie game. I love you, Enrique Hernandez. I love you. I love Enrique Hernandez, you beautiful bastard, in your bright green shoes. That's who I'm always throwing it to when I throw it to second. He's the shortstop covering second. I love you, you beautiful bastard, in your neon green shoes. I love you. Now let's not squander it. Looks like this guy was looking out. All right, back of the bat here, bottom of the six, runner in scoring position. Just drive him in. They're going to walk me? Yep. Damn. Come on, Hernandez. You just hit a two-run blast. Do something like that again. Come on. Ah! So it's no runs on a you hit. don't want to no see that. Yes. We have a one run lead. We have a one run lead. But I don't trust it. We've won one nothing. We've lost or we've lost one nothing. Anything can happen. I gotta make this catch. Make it. Thank you. There you go, Hernandez. Keeping you keeping the blood flowing for you. Keeping it going so you can hit another bomb after me. So Up to bat. Bottom of the eighth. Scott Nobody on. Two, two outs. <sighs> I'd like to increase our run totals. And that's a line drive right to the second baseman. Is that going to be it? Is that going to be it or do we have more? And it's it. We have forced a game seven. Six five <sighs> final here today. Dave Roberts they almost they almost the fucking dugout, came up back. I'm glad my teammates were coming up clutch in that game. Thanks for joining us. We almost lost again, but we managed to rally back. We rallied ourselves. Did we win that in walk off fashion? Yes, we did. They took th they got three runs in the ninth. What is that? Two. They w they went up by two runs in the top of the ninth, and we got we got three runs our own to take the win. <sighs> Freddie Freeman, five for five. He yeah, I was one for three. I was terrible. Hernandez, he was one for four, but he got that fucking uh, or no. I'm thinking of Enrique Hernandez. He was one for three, but his one hit was that home run that tied it up at two. If it wasn't for him, we probably would have lost. We wouldn't have rallied. But now it's do or die time for both teams. Winner takes all in game seven. I wanted to win it on home ice. Home ice. On home field. Let's go do it in game seven. Game seven. Season on the line. What's the word on him? Well, for both teams, Clayton Kershaw, former ace for the Dodgers. The Let's hope he can pull another Cy Young strike, performance out in this game when it matters the most. The we are starting in right field. Hey, against Alex Verdugo. I'm trying to stay calm, stay focused, stay relaxed. I don't want to get too antsy because then I'll swing and whiff at everything. Just got to stay calm. Just act like it's a regular season game. One down, base is empty. In the air, right Solid field. hit. But I will track it down for the second out. Back up to bat. One nothing lead. Runner on first with two outs. Marcus Stroman had my number last time. We can't let that happen again. To the side of the plate he's hitting from. Take every pitch, one pitch at a time. Let's do it. I mean, sometimes it can feel like a long and I strike out. That retires the side, and that'll do it. <sighs> Can't believe so I did it. On one hit, no errors, and a man left. On to the 
And we're back. Second we're still holding on to our one run lead here at the top of the second. Juan Soto, he got that single home run of the world's of the postseason. His only home run of the postseason. He got it past me. He got it past me. His teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. This one, I'm going to catch it. Solid out in the field in this one. We got we to gotta be solid at the plate. 5 nothing lead. It's not good enough. We had a 4-1 lead at one point in this series, and the Yankees came back to win it. Got two on, two outs. Just drive in a run. Just drive it in. Go Quick and simple. And, he walked him. and we take the walk. They just keep handing out gifts, Boo. Or are we We're moving the bases. Or We're moving the runners to another base. I don't know what I'm saying. Here's Max Muncy, that funky Muncy. Yeah, that funky Muncy. Come on, bud. Come on. All loaded up. Dangerous hitter at the plate. Oh. Swings and misses. Inning ends. And that stops the that bleed. hurts. So they do get four runs across. All right, only up by four now. Same scenario as last time. Two on, two outs. Solid hit. That's getting through. He's going home. He's going to third. We get a run. We got the run. Vesia and I are bros. Vesia, Vesia or Vesia, we're bros. Wasn't a beautiful hit. But it doesn't matter. Up by five again. Come on, Muncie. Don't swing and whiff. Don't be like me, man. Don't be like me. Don't be like me, man. Come on. Ah, he's playing like me. I rubbed off on him. But at least we got to run. Back up to bat. We got another. Or I don't know if we got another run. I don't remember. But the Yankees sure did. I don't like it. I don't like it. There we go. Five run lead again. Five run lead again. Why couldn't I have done that earlier when I actually had runners on base? I'll take it, but I'd rather, I would have rather done that with runners on bases. 13th homer of the postseason. Go, go do something great, Muncie, you funky Muncie. Come on. Really great job of anticipation. Back at the bat, bottom of the eighth. At this point in the game, we're sticking. We're, I'm keeping you guys around. You guys are sticking. We're going to power swing. we got a runner on first. I wanted to get a homer with somebody on base. Let's do it. Let's do it now. That's not... They're not going to get anything on it. Not going to get anything on it. Got the challenge. You love it. I wouldn't have cared if they called that like a fielder's choice or an error or whatever. I wouldn't have cared. Come on, Muncie. Getting antsy and getting fired up. I think we're, I think we're going to do it. I think we're going to win. Muncie. Muncie. Oh, that's so sad. It could have been a 10-2 game. That would have sealed it. But will that be it? Will that be it? Will we be the World Series winners? I'm not going to skip anything. Just going to let it progress naturally. And we've done it. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm sorry if I'm blowing out your eardrums, but I'm fucking pumped. That was a fucking hard-fought series. Series against the Diamondbacks. Swept them 3 nothing. Series against the Cardinals won 1-5. One Only lost one game. This series, the most important series, was the toughest test. Went all seven. We win it in front of our fans. That's the best thing you can do in any sport, winning the major championship in front of your home fans. Can I see me, please? Let me see me, please. This is my road to the show. Let me let me see it. I don't get to see me react. Where am I? Oh, there I am on the right there. 
and behind Mookie Betts. Ah, oh, you're welcome, Dodgers fans. This would be even better if I was on the Cubbies. But finally, finally, Shohei is won a World Series. Where am I in the picture? Where? There I am. Second row, third on the left. Next to Diego. That's Diego uh, Contoya. Contayo. I don't remember. Oh, my goodness. We were the best team in the MLB in the regular season and the best team in the MLB in the postseason. I was 9 for 20 in this series with two home runs, four ribbies. I cooled off a little bit. Clayton Kershaw, you absolute beautiful bastard. I asked you to pitch a fucking uh, Cy Young performance. I don't know if that's Cy Young performance right there, but for one game, pitching eight innings, giving up five hits, getting five strikeouts, no walks, two earned runs. I don't know if that's Cy Young performance based off one game alone. But damn it, brother, you pitched a, you pitched solid, my my man. You pitched solid. Oh, let's go back to the clubhouse. Struck out in that first inning. I thought it was downhill from there, but we did it. The Dodgers have won the World Series. Fucking A right, boys. I'm sorry I'm swearing. I know I got some people on here who are a little younger. They don't like the swearing. They get in trouble, I assume. That's why they don't like it. I apologize, but... I'm stoked. Advance of the offseason. Yes, advance. I got to readjust in my chair here. So Austin Barnes, Austin Gauthier, Gauthier, TJ McFarland, James Paxton, and Miguel Rojas all retired due to ability from the Dodgers. Any other names that's, that pop out for me? Imagine... Imagine Mike Trout retired. I don't think I don't think he's at that age yet, but I just think it would have been funny if he was like Shohei fucking won a World Series with the Dodgers first year after he leaves the uh, leaves us, goes to the other LA team, wins a World Series. I'm done. I give up. <laughs> Miguel An M Miguel Andujar. I know that one. Edledmus Diaz. I know that one. Um. From the athletics, both those guys. Anybody else jumping out? Um, Edwin Escobar, David Peralta from the Cubbies. I know them. Anybody else? That's all from actual... Chase Pinder, I feel like that sounds familiar. So that's it from all the actual... From players actually on a team. Um, anybody who is a free agent that's jumping out to me here. Um, so far, not really. Adam Engel, that sounds familiar. Zach Granke, retired due to age. Now, that's a name I know. I feel like a lot of people know that, even if they don't watch baseball. Um, Dallas Keuchel, I know that name. Tommy Lastella, I know that one. Evan Longoria, due to age. I assume that's the same Evan Longoria. Yep. I didn't I didn't even know you could look at player cards at this screen. I never knew that till just now. Um anybody else that's jumping out to me here. I'm not a very diehard baseball fan. I watch the occasional game. Um I pay attention every now and then. Uh, mostly mostly during playoff time so i'm i'm not like i'm not like uh, oh i know every single player known to man so um so yeah if there's names that should be popping out to me and i'm not seeing it i apologize vince velasquez that seems familiar i probably know him from uh being on the white Sox. that's probably how i know him joey Votto, we all know that one 41 years old calls it quits he was a free agent retires due to age did not play for a team this year isn't that untrue i think it's maybe because we started this before like the official like dead set rosters came out but isn't he like with toronto in real life this season 
Did they sign him to a contract? I don't remember, but I feel like I remember hearing he was in Toronto. He played 16 years. Born in Canada. 356 home runs in his career. MVP in 2010, Gold Glove in 2011, Hank Aaron Award 2010. All-star appearance four years in a row, 10, 11, 12, and 13, and then 17 and 18. Jose Alvarez, is that the same Jose Alvarez? I have no idea, but he retires. All right, so that is the retired players. Let me know if there's anybody exciting that you saw there. No inductees into the Hall of Fame. We're going to simulate a day there. We should be getting a call from our agent at some point, I would think. View offers. One year, 760000 We'll come back to that. But I guess we're not going to get a, a call from our agent, I guess, until later. But what I wanted to do, can I not, oh, can I not see the awards? Did I miss that chance? Will I have to wait till next season? I think I'll have to wait till next season. Yeah. So we'll we'll get through um we'll get through it here. Shohei, he's not going anywhere for a long time. We don't have to worry about him. Kershaw. He's got one more year left in him. Um I'm just going for the big names here. Will Smith. Ooh, this is an arbitration year. Freddie Freeman. He's around for a few more. Mookie. Oh, he, yeah, he's around for a while. That Funky Muncie. Finally earned his deal. Gavin Lux. Arbitration year for him. Chris Taylor. Two more years left for him. James Outman, get rid of him. Get rid of him. No, he's around for a while. His overall's going up. I don't know how, because in the postseason, he was junk. And then me. You know what? I think we'll, I think we'll ask for a two-year contract, just so that way, at the end, we'll be eligible for arbitration. So, I think that's what we'll do. So, yeah, let's go back. Let's go to the calendar here. You contract offers. Let's do two years at one point. Can we do like an even? I wish you could do like an even number. Like, can I do two years for 1.67? Give me two years for 1.67. Sweet. Making $1.67 million for two years. You'll love to see it. Let's sim the off season. You got to assume we'd get a call from like our agent or something telling us, oh, I saw you in the parade or whatever. Like, are we not just going to get any sort of like, hey, you won the World Series. Congrats, kid. I don't know. This is going to be a long episode. I apologize. Well, I, it's currently been an hour and 17 minutes for me with editing out all those games and stuff or editing the stuff in those games like I normally do that might cut it down. But it's still going to be a long one. But I don't care. This was a fun episode. I still think it would have been fun even if we lost in Game 7. Obviously, I would have been a little bit more bummed as to be expected. But, uh, yeah, so we're skipping through spring training because I don't care. And I I would assume that like at least 99.9% .9 of you guys watching this do not care either. Interesting that there was a week off there in spring training. Is that something new they're doing? I don't know, but we went 16 and eight in the spring training games. Hopefully that's good. We hit 10 homers. That's nice. Are you sure you'd like to advance to the, yes. I don't care about spring training stats. So our first, that's interesting. We're playing one game at home against the Rockies. And then the next day we're going to Colorado to play the Rockies. Interesting. That seems weird. Why wouldn't you just do like a two game series in Colorado or LA not sure about that setup there but let's look at awards before we go since I missed out on that so 
MVP of the NL last year went to Matt Olson of the Braves. Uh, we'll just go through National League first, then we'll go through AL, just so that way I don't have to keep switching. So Cy Young in the National League went to Shohei Otani. Batting title went to Cattell Marte of the Diamondbacks. Reliever of the year went to Bruce Dar Gratterall uh, of the Dodgers, of course. I won Rookie of the Year without a doubt. You love to see it. Hank Aaron Award went to Matt Olson of the Braves. Back-to-back -back years for Braves winning that award. Gold Glove for Pitching went to Zach Wheeler two years in a row. Uh, Gabriel Moreno won it back-to-back -back years um, for Catchers. Pete Alonzo won it for First Baseman on the Mets. Second Base Gold Glove went to Tyro Estrada of the Giants. Third Base went to Kebrian Hayes two years in a row of the Pirates. Dansby Swanson back-to-back -back three years in a row, but back-to-back -back years on the Cubbies winning the Gold Glove for Shortstops. Left field went to Lourdes, Lourdes Griel Jr., probably butchered that, of the Diamondbacks for left fielders. Center fielders went to Michael Harris II of the Braves. Tatis won it back-to-back -back years for right fielders. Silver slugger for designated hitter went to Shohei Otani. Catcher silver slugger went to Wilson Contreras. Last year, William Contreras, his brother, won it. That's funny. First baseman, Matt Olson, back-to-back -back years, Silver Slugger. Cattell Marte, second baseman, Silver Slugger. Austin Riley, back-to-back -back years, Silver Slugger, third base. Trey Turner, shortstop, Silver Slugger. I won Silver Slugger in the outfield for right field. Wait, they get, do they give it out to, like, anybody? In, they just give out three Silver Sluggers to anybody in the outfield? Doesn't matter what it is. So I won a Silver Slugger for the outfield. Corbin Carroll won one for the outfield, and Christian Yelich won one for the outfield. Postseason MVP went to your boy Everett Scott. You love to see it. World Series MVP went to your boy Everett Scott. You love to see it. So fantastic rookie year. How many trophies is that? One, I believe three, right? So we got rookie of the year, silver slugger for the outfield, Postseason MVP and World Series MVP. So in our rookie year, we took home four pieces of hardware. You'll love to see it. Now we're going to go through quick for the American League. So MVP, Mike Trout, Cy Young, Shane McClanahan, Yandy Diaz, back-to-back -back years for the batting title. Reliever of the year goes to Jose LeClerc. Colt Keith wins Rookie of the Year in the AL. Mike Trout, Hank Aaron Award. Joe Musgrove, Gold Glove Pitching. Bo Naylor, Gold Glove Catcher. The Rizzler himself, Anthony Rizzo, First Baseman, Gold Glove Winner. Andres Jimenez, three years in a row, as far as I can see. Second Baseman, Gold Glove Winner. Michael Garcia, Mikhail Garcia, how do you pronounce that? Third Base, Gold Glove Winner. Trevor Story, Shortstop, Gold Glove Winner. Alex Verdugo, Left Field, Gold Glove Winner. Kevin Kiermeyer, Back-to-Back -back Years, Center Field, Gold Glove Winner. Right field, back-to-back -back years, Adolis Garcia, right field gold glove winner. Harold Ramirez, silver slugger designated hitter. Catcher, silver slugger, goes to Ryan Jeffers. First baseman, silver slugger, goes to Vladdy Jr. Jose Altuve for second baseman, silver slugger. Rafael Devers, back-to-back -back years as a third baseman, silver slugger. Bo Bichette, silver slugger, shortstop. Mike Trout, Silver Slugger in the outfield. Aaron Judge, Silver Slugger in the outfield. And Julio Rodriguez, Silver Slugger in the outfield. Postseason MVP in the AL goes to Aaron Judge. And World Series MVP obviously goes to me because only one person can win World Series MVP. All right, so that is the awards. Hopefully that didn't bore you guys to sleep. Um, something else I want to see just because it's fun. First game of the season is at home against the Rockies. Last game of the season is on the road against the Giants. I always like to see what the first game you play is at home and at the end of the season. So that is nice. When do we play the Cubs? Oh, I saw them there. We play them at the end of April. Then we play them again towards the end of May. And that's, I would assume that's it. Since they're, uh, well, they're a National League team, so you would think we'd face them again. But no, we face them twice and throughout the season. So, But 
Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I've been recording for an hour and 24 minutes at this point. Not sure how long that'll be after everything is cut and edited. But I am excited. We have won the World Series and four pieces of hardware to add to our trophy case after our first year in the majors. We signed a two-year contract for $1.67 million to get us to arbitration time. I don't know if how long we'll stick with the Dodgers. We might we might try and get a trade at some point just so we can have a new change of pace, but we'll we'll see how fast we can get through the next couple of seasons. So anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. I know I sure did. This was a fun one. Whether we would have won or lost, like I just I had a blast. Like I said, I would have been upset, obviously, but I mean we managed to force a game seven. That was that was good enough for me. If we would have lost game seven, then it would have been like, well, hey, whatever. It was winner takes all. We just came up short in game seven. What can you do? But we fucking rallied one game seven. or one, We rallied one game six and then dominated game seven. It got close there for a little bit, but we managed to just keep adding on. The Yankees would get one, we'd add like two more. So we just we just managed to finally get back on our pace and lock it down. So that was great. But I'm going to make this outro quick and simple. If you guys enjoyed the video, haven't done so already, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, hit that bell, turn on all notifications so you never miss a future one of my videos. We are on the road to 660. I believe we are back down to 652 subscribers. I believe we lost one, but that's okay. Ultimately, we're on the road to 700 subscribers. I hope we can get there relatively soon. We've been having a good little pace of growth on the channel as of late, so I appreciate every single one of you, whether you're new to the channel or returning to the channel. All of you mean the world to me. You make doing this fun and worthwhile. But yeah, I've rambled on long enough. You're probably tired of hearing my voice. You were probably tired of it long ago. But that will do it for this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Until next time, take care.